David, you're very welcome to the hard shoulder. I want to ask about your views first on lockdown because I'm not sure if you're aware of this. You're regularly quoted here in Ireland as being opposed to lockdown and the WHO are anti-lockdown. Is that a fair representation? Thanks very much indeed, Kieran. We actually really do want people everywhere to be able to get on with their lives. And we do believe that we've got, as a, as a community, as humanity, to be able to live with this virus as a constant threat. But that doesn't mean just letting go. It actually does mean having a really strong and well-organised community-level public health service. And it means everybody following the basic procedures that have been recommended on physical distancing, mask wearing, hygiene, isolating when sick, and looking after people who are particularly vulnerable. Now, we say, please avoid lockdowns because we want those kinds of steps to be introduced and followed everywhere so that lockdowns do not become necessary. If a lockdown is introduced, and by that I mean everybody being asked to stay at home and not going about their work or their social lives, but we do have to accept that this has consequences, especially for poor people, mm. especially for people who need medical care. And that's why we've said, can we not work out how to get ahead of this virus without using lockdowns? But it absolutely does not mean just letting go. It means putting in place all the defences that are necessary for life to go on. And it's nearly, it's nearly working in Ireland, but you've had to introduce the level five restrictions. And while you're putting them in place for the next six weeks, please go one step further. Everybody doing the physical distancing and masking and as really good basic health services to do the testing, the tracing okay. and the isolating. And then perhaps Christmas can be celebrated in a way that we're familiar with.